Did you know you can make quick changes to your post processor, which will affect the way your G code turns out? Here's how it works. The post processor you're using will be listed in your cam tree. In this example, we're using the Haas 3X OEM post. To select the post you want to edit, just right click on the post name and choose edit. From here you can select the post from the directory the post is saved in. After clicking select, a list of post processors will come up. Just right click on the post you want to edit and choose edit. This is your post processor. Within here there's a bunch of blocks of code that determine how your G code will be posted. I do recommend you watch the Bobcat webinar on how to edit a post processor to learn more, but it's really easy to get in here and make changes. If you want to turn line numbering on or off, you would go to the 200 blocks and look for where it says output sequence numbering. This is 208. You can make that an N for no. Or if you want to change your circular motion, you can come down a little bit further and go to block 222 and change your circular motion from incremental to absolute or maybe radius. Making edits to your post processor, you must save the post after you've made the edits and then re-post your code. It's just that simple. To learn about tips and tricks using Bobcad, call us today or subscribe to our channel for next week's tips. See you then.